There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. Oh, Dylan! Roger. Alright, so those were U.S. Navy fighter pilots celebrating when they locked onto an unidentified object dashing across the sky back in 2015. Videos like these have fueled years of UFO speculation and questions about extraterrestrial life. And now NASA will be looking for more answers here. Today, the agency is officially launching its study on unidentified aerial phenomena. And joining us now is CNN space and defense correspondent Kristen Fisher. My goodness. I mean, it, this is the kind of thing that back in the day you would have sort of laughed at. But now we've seen these videos taken by professionals in the military. What can you tell us about this team and the studies they'll be doing? So this NASA study really joins uh, you know, Congress, which has been investigating it, the Pentagon, which has been looking into all of these incidents, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, now NASA. Uh, they announced this study last summer. Uh, and just on Friday, they decided to officially announce its team because the study, of course, starts today. And it's 16 individuals. These are people who are astronomers, astrophysicists, biologists, uh, oceanographers. They've got a lot of former NASA, Pentagon, even some former FAA folks uh, on the team. And a former astronaut, a very famous former astronaut, uh, Scott Kelly, who famously spent a year in space. And so what they're going to be doing is over the next nine months or so, they're really going to be digging into all of the unclassified data that's out there. Not the classified stuff, that's for the Pentagon and Congress, but NASA is going to be looking into the unclassified reports, and they're going to be looking at better ways to analyze and catalog this data that's coming in, not just from those Navy pilots and military folks, but from uh, civilians and commercial entities and how they catalog and data uh, store all of that data that's coming in, which is just a, a, a huge amount ever since this kind of renewed interest in UFOs has come about. And you know, Brianna, um, they are going to make all of these findings public, hopefully. Uh, they're shooting for mid-2023. Uh, but you know, the big question is, why NASA now? Why is NASA getting in on this? Well, NASA says, you know, hey, it's always been our job to kind of explain the unexplainable or almost unexplainable, uh, the Pentagon, Congress has really been trying for several months now. Now NASA wants to get in and say, you know, hey, we have lots of valuable assets up there too. Uh, satellites, astronauts, space stations. We want to know what's up there just as much as, as everybody else. So fascinating. And those pictures are mesmerizing. You have the coolest job, <laughs> I think Fisher. so. That's okay. CNN. Thank you so much. Let's discuss with former NASA astronaut and retired Air Force Colonel Terry Vertz. Colonel, great to see you. How do you think they might go about this investigation? Well, I think the big thing for them is going to be to get data, uh, which is something that's different than what we used to have back in the 1950s when there was a lot of quote unquote UFO sightings. Uh, we have radar tracks from Navy ships. We have infrared cameras from Navy pilots. And I've had a few guys on my podcast down to earth with Terry Vertz that have talked about the data. I think that's going to be their focus. What are you hoping they might find? Well, I, what I'm really hoping is that they get to the bottom of it to the extent they can. Clearly, every sighting cannot be explained. Um, but I think we're going to get a little bit more color and uh, detail on exactly what these things are. Many of them are probably just drones or atmospheric sightings. But some of the cameras and radar tracks that the Navy fighter pilots have seen are really interesting and they really seem like not normal uh, aircraft type of things. You're, you're a former fighter pilot, former NASA astronaut. I, I just gotta ask, do you believe aliens exist? Well, that's a complicated question. I've never seen them myself. Uh, it seems with all the billions of planets that are out there, you'd think that there must be some life out there. I think that life is very complicated and that somebody has to make it or get it started just from a scientific point of view. Uh, it's so complicated. The problem is those planets and stars are so far away. It would take thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of years to get there. Uh, so I think there is life, but I can't be sure. This past May, you know, Pentagon officials testified before a House panel. They revealed there are now close to 400 reports from military personnel of possible UFO encounters. And they say they are reasonably confident one of the sightings was that of a drone. But so far, investigators have not found evidence of either extraterrestrial life or a major technological advancement by a foreign adversary like Russia or China. 
I do wonder, though, if the intel community, if the Pentagon, with all of its resources, couldn't get to the bottom of this. Do you have confidence NASA will? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I think the intel and defense communities will take a certain angle, and I think the NASA, you know, these are astrophysicists and scientists and tech startup kind of people. They'll take a different angle at it. Um, but the the bottom line is we have data now. There are radar tracks that exist. There are infrared tracks that exist. The fighter pilots who are reporting it are not in the UFO society. These are not the kind of people that wake up in the morning wanting to see a UFO. They they mm -hmm. don't want to see a UFO. And so I, I think there is definitely some legitimate stuff here. I'm sure a lot of it is explainable by drones. But from what I've heard, like I said on, on my podcast, um, there are some things that are definitely questionable. And these are reasonable people that are bringing up these questions. It's so interesting. Really fascinating. Colonel Terry Vertz, thanks for the discussion today.